Hey everyone. <clears throat> Hi. <coughs> it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Um, and I hope that you are well today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, and it is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Already? I think it might be Wednesday. Yeah, so cool. Halfway through the week. And we get to celebrate um, Irish heritage um, on this day. Um, and I have a interesting project that I sort of came up with yesterday after I got off the live um, episode from yesterday that I wanted to show you. I think I said that we're going to do cards. And I'm going to share with you the cards that I have. Um, and I'll put them in the description of this video after um, I stop the live. But um, I got to thinking, I was cleaning, I'm getting ready to put my sublimation printer in. And I was cleaning and I happened upon these um, little hexagon tiles and also these ones which I think they're called subway tiles but they have a nice like um pointy edge to them so I happened upon a box of these now part of me I want to tell you that I live in a very old house and I'm always trying to uh update uh the house and uh we were doing our bathroom over I was doing my bathroom over last year and so I went to Home Depot and I bought a bunch of tiles just to kind of see if I like them. It's sort of like when you're going to paint, you know, so I would, you can buy these like um, individually like this and these ones actually come on a, a, like a webbing that I just took off of the webbing. You can actually see some of that on the back here. And, um, so I was like, Ooh, these are interesting. Um, I'm going to take them home and, and pick my, uh, tiles from these. And I ended up picking up some beautiful tiles. They're actually colored, but then I didn't know what to do with these. And of course, because I'm a bit of a hoarder, I thought, ah, I'll figure out something to do with these with my cricket because, you know, this is cricket land and at cricket land we can try to put vinyl or uh, iron on or whatever infusible ink on everything. And by the way, this did not work for infusible ink because I did try it. Um, I could probably show you a demo about that, but um, it would be a fail. <clears throat> Um, and yeah, there are some other size styles. One is an arabesque, which looks a lot like a, um, an ornament. If you've ever seen arabesque, it's kind of like a bulb shape. It goes out, it starts off thin and it comes out and it goes down like this. And that is actually a style. So if you are not in the habit of going to Home Depot, and or Lowe's or whatever um, place that you'd go to to get tiles, um, you might want to check it out because sometimes you can find some really cool uh, crafting things there and they're usually pretty inexpensive because crafters haven't, you know, all crafters haven't figured out <laughs> this. So anyway, <clears throat> I happened upon these things and I thought, ah, oh, I, I could put vinyl on those and that would look really cute. But then I thought, well, why couldn't I put iron on? Can You can't iron on this, can you? Well, guess what? You can, and I did it. And I want to show you how I did it. And here is, um, this is the green glitter iron on. Here's the gold glitter iron on, some more green glitter iron on. So I did do this, and I think that I'll probably um, make it for other things. Um, yeah, so just look around. Now, I also found um, a few of these bigger tiles, but I didn't have enough glitter iron on for this, so I used kind of a metallic. And I'm a little unhappy with the way that it came out right here, but I thought, isn't this perfect for like a coffee mug, like a coaster, right? And um, and I thought that that would be good too. But the thing um, with with this project is I only had scraps. I just had little scraps of iron-on um, left. I didn't have a whole lot of glitter. I don't know what happened to all my glitter. I must have glittered out somewhere. And so I had a bunch of glittery um, 
uh, 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 scraps left that I thought that we could try it on our joy, which is what I have here. So a few little tiles. This is a very inexpensive project. Um, like these tiles usually go for like, I don't know, 50 cents to a dollar um, for one. And I have a whole box of them, but um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, and, and it's, it's easy. I'm going to use the joy and I'm going to use my easy press mini and I'm going to use my iPad to do it from. So I hope you'll stick around for today's episode. Before we start though, I wanted to, um, tell you a couple of things. One, okay, te Teddy, Teddy. One is, um, if you're interested in sublimation, um, and, or if you've even heard the word and you don't know what it, it is about, I am starting a journey um, on learning how to do sublimation um, inexpensively, frugally, uh, in using my Cricut as well. And I'm going to be using my mug press and other things to do this. Um, and I will have a whole series of probably more than more than two, probably um, how to set up the printer, what printer I bought, um, how, what ink I bought, um, how to use it with your Cricut, all of that fun stuff we're going to be doing in the future. So if you are interested, definitely continue to follow along. Make sure you subscribe. Um, and make sure you're following me on Miss Rita to the Rescue on Facebook. So there's that. Second of all, late yesterday, um, we got word from Cricket that after some um, thoughtful uh, thoughtfulness, the company has decided to change the policy uh, that they had from last week that they announced from last week. If you remember, um, I don't know why the dogs are barking. <laughs> Teddy, come on. Um, if you remember last week, they, they introduced two new features that are going to be coming soon. And that includes, uh, offset, the much anticipated, long awaited offset and also collections, which I have to tell you, I've been playing with and I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, I cannot wait. I've been, I've been, uh, putting all of my, my, uh, my projects, all close to 2,000 of them into collections, and it is so much fun, and I want to show you how to do it, okay? So um, that's really, really fun. Thanks, Patricia. And let's see, what else? So anyway, they, they announced that they are not going to be changing their policy about um, limiting uploads. That was the one uh, bit of news that people didn't really... Um, some people didn't really think was a good thing. I thought, honestly, it made a whole lot of sense. But, you know, I, I find Cricket is a very thoughtful, noble, humble company run by wonderful people. And I just love them to death. And um, I don't understand some of the comments that were made about this and still being made it's sort of like you know when you're when you're uh upset about something sometimes you just have to kind of take a step back and say oh thank you um thank you for listening and uh and uh thanks for reconsidering that idea but um, anyway, that's going to change. It we should it, it, none of that would matter to anybody that's already an access member as as I am, and um, I encourage people to become an access member because honestly, all of these projects that I do on a daily basis come from almost ninety nine percent of them come from access images. I don't do a lot of. Um, Stealing, stealing images from Google and making them my own. I don't think that that's legally and morally the right thing to do. And there's some people who don't feel the same way I do, but um, that's just how I feel. And I do upload SVGs, but not a whole ton. And we do, we do focus on Cricut Access. So, um, so for me, I find incredible value in Access. 
Um, and I do a lot of my work in design, everything in Cricut design space. And this sort of reminds me back in the day, this was, uh, you know, thanks Elizabeth. This, uh, back in the day, um, when Cricut was first getting into iron-on and vinyl, okay? Because it started off as a scrapbooking kind of machine. So a lot of people were doing paper. And um, and so iron-on and vinyl. And the first few iterations of their iron-on and vinyl weren't the best. They, they, um, they weren't too... Um, great. I mean, they worked okay, but there were still some issues. This was before the easy press. And a lot of people complained about it as they were improving and improving. And, and there were a lot of people that would, uh, would say, oh, this is the best vinyl. And it is a very nice vinyl, this other, this other name brand, a very nice vinyl, but it's, um, also for commercial use. And remember, cricket is about the hobbyist. And yeah, there are some people that have businesses, but me as a hobbyist, I don't want to buy, you know, a 50 foot roll of something if I just want to try the color. And that's the way it sort of became. So if you think, if you look at Cricut as a lens to hobbyists, I think that their products are fabulous. And if you want to be big business, then buy big business machines and buy big business materials and, and, um, and, create your company, but there's costs involved to being, to being a business. Now I use this as a hobby. So for me, I like that I can find a nice color, um, iron on and, uh, in a good price and, and, uh, I don't have to have a gazillion of them, you know, um, a gazillion rolls of them. So for me, it works. Anyway, that's I'm getting off my uh, off on a tangent, and I apologize. So let's get back to St. Patrick's Day. Hello, everyone! Happy St. Patrick's Day! Let's craft, let's craft with our crickets. So to get back to this, um, these are just tiles. There's nothing special about them. They were purchased at the Home Depot, and you can see these smaller ones were actually on a like a webbing. It's glued on a webbing, and then I just peeled them off. And I had bought like maybe one or two of these that come like, I don't know, maybe 15 or so on a, on a um, depending on the size, obviously, but they come on this webbing and you just peel it off of the back of the webbing. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. These ones were like about, I think they're probably like 50 to 80 cents maybe each. And then I also found a few of these larger ones. We're not going to do the larger ones today. Well, I could iron this one on, but this required a larger cut. So I did cut this on my maker. So we're going to work on these and I have my uh, joy. I have my um, iPad. I have my Cricut mini and I'm going to show you how to do it. I also have just so you know, um, I also have this heat pad. It's a Cricut heat pad. So you want to protect your surfaces because if you put um, this will actually get very, very hot. And if you put it on your surface, this surface is kind of like a, a plastic sort of material and it will actually warp. You can probably see how it's warping a little bit here um, if you put too much heat on it. So I like to um, use my little pad, but if you don't have one of those, use a towel um, and you can uh, you can save your your now the dogs are 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 play fighting. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to use our iPad to log into Design Speed and um just so that you know, you're going to have to connect via your Bluetooth. So here it is, my Bluetooth, and I'm connecting the Joy. It's already connected, see? And um, one other thing I have to do is if I have more than one machine, I have to change my machine selection to Joy. So sometimes I work on my iPad. <clears throat> sometimes I work on my iPad and work on my Maker. And sometimes I work on my Joy. So I have to make sure my mach machine selection is set for Joy if I want to cut. 
with the joy, obviously. So, um, these are images I will give you that I found and I re, I re, um, I reworked, but you can just simply find it by going to images and you just type in Irish and uh, there were all kinds of things, or you can type in clover or shamrock, and there are all kinds of things. Now, um, the, where is it? Where's the Kiss Me I'm Irish that I used? It's here somewhere. Um, ma, ma, ma. Somewhere. So anyway, there are, if you type in Irish, so many wonderful um, pieces of art and I don't know how people can say that they're, they're, here it is kiss me I'm Irish um, I don't know how people can say that there aren't enough good images in in design space because I think that's just fabulous okay so these ones here um this one here came in and it's believe it or not it's actually three colors it's a grouped image so to ungroup it you go to layers <clears throat> and see here you have one two three layers so, so um, to ungroup it, you would need to go to actions and here hit ungroup. Um, and so I did this because I wanted to um, separate this out. I didn't think that um, that Kiss Me I'm Irish was going to be, I, I knew I was working on these little small things and, and, um, so I didn't know if it would fit. So what I did was, um, let me show you what I did. So I edited, after I ungrouped it, I edited these images by hiding contour. We've talked about this many a time. So this one here that says, kiss me, I, hi I hid the contour for the shamrocks. So I isolated these two together and then um, I took the shamrocks out of the equation and then I put these two here and then I grouped them together or I, I selected them together and then what I did was hit attach, not group, but attach. Grouping will still cut this out on two separate colors match, right? But attaching makes them all the same color. And if you don't like the color that it's created, <clears throat> you can always just go over to edit and change it to green if that ha makes you happy. <clears throat> So now I took out the shamrocks from this and I just need to make sure that I'm, I'm going to be cutting them the right size. So these are the ones I did before and, um, I measured, I wanted to put it on this one. So I measured this at, it's actually 34, I'm sorry, not 34. It's actually four inches, not including this part that juts out. So I made it so that it was, 3.7 inches wide it would use up most of the space but not this part and then for the height it's two inches and so I made it 1.6 see that um, and then for the shamrocks I decided that first I made them bigger so this one I made bigger. I made it this size, but I ended up having to cut a little bit of the uh, stem off to get on there, and and it seemed a little big to me. So I um, made them smaller. So you can do them, do them either size, okay? Um, and I will again. I'll give you the um, the file for this. Of course, I'll give you the file for this. Okay. So let us go and cut this on, um, the joy. I'm going to hit make it and I'm going to choose on the mat and you'll see here that, um, there it all fits on a six inch mat. However, I cut out for a 12 inch mat. So I'm going to change my product, my project copies to two and you'll see that it, it, um, it has separated them by six inch mats, you see? But we don't want six inch mats, we have a 12 inch mat. So by switching to a 12 inch mat, look, it all comes out here on one mat. Now I can move these around a little bit if I wanna give them a little space. And you do that just simply by clicking on the image you wanna move like this. Say I wanna put a little tiny bit of space between my um, 
between my little kiss me, I am Irish. So that way when I cut it out, it won't be like overlapping, but it's not overlapping. I can do that. All right. Then I hit continue. And um, I'm going to choose glitter because that's what this is, glitter uh, iron on. So I'm going to go to all materials and scroll and find glitter iron on. Now, one thing I didn't do, I'm wondering if anybody noticed. Did anybody notice what I didn't do? I'll tell you. Mirror. I did not mirror my um, my image. Now, here on the um, on the joy, I can't mirror on that last page. So I have to go back. I have to cancel and go back to the canvas and mirror over here. We're mirroring because we're using iron on. So it's cut in the inverse and then turned around and put on in the uh, correct place. So here it is mirrored. I just went back to my canvas. Well, actually went back to the screen where it was like the mat setup, and um, I have it mirrored now. And again, got to choose my um, iron on. Couple of things that I want to tell you. Um, first of all, if you have smart iron on, use the smart iron on. Um, if you don't have the glitter iron on, use whatever iron on you want. Um, I think it would work with, uh, and actually I think the glitter iron on took a little more heat and, and time with, uh, with putting it on the thing on the vinyl. Could you use vinyl? You absolutely could use vinyl, but I had these things laying around. So that's why I'm using iron on. So this is called being creative with our materials. All right. Um, what's the other thing too? Oh, we were playing with alcohol inks yesterday. Could you alcohol ink these? You absolutely could because they're non-porous. So if you wanted to get real fancy, you could alcohol ink these and then put on um, either vinyl or iron on. I didn't try that yet because I've just been so busy, but um, I didn't try that yet. So, um, the the idea here is just use what you got. You know, I, I know people always um, laugh and say, every time I watch your videos, Rita, I'm out buying more things. And um, I laugh too because I love to buy stuff. But um, I love to buy craft things. But, you know, there are, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And um, so I just thought that I would mention you can use different materials, whatever you have. Uh, if you have vinyl, you can use vinyl. If you have iron-on, you can use iron-on. You could try infusible ink. I will try that. If you want to use your alcohol inks, this is cricket land. We can do whatever we want, okay? We can do whatever we want, and, um, and we can try anything. So don't let anybody tell you... Um, you know, no, you can't do that. Not when it, t it comes to creating. And, um, and a very good example is when I did infusible ink pens on transfer sheets. Um, I didn't know. They were told me, mm, you can't put pens on the transfer sheet. And I said, well, why not? And, and I tried it and it worked out great. Um, and so, you know, sometimes it's just trial and error and uh, just using what you have. It's a New England, uh, I think it's just a New England trait. It's probably other trait, but it's it's frugality and trying to figure out, you know, how do you use what you got rather than running out and buying all this new product. Um, not that I am against you stocking up your, your craft storage because I do the same thing. So um, actually, while we're waiting for this to cut out, I wanted to show you something. Um, regarding the alcohol ink. So this is called, I'm going to probably say it wrong, but it's called you poo, you po, you po, not you poo, <laughs> you po paper. And it's basically our alcohol ink paper. It is polypropylene. It's a hundred percent polypropylene that has been, um, put into a paper format. Hi. Hi, Shelly. So um, if you want to do alcohol inks and you want to do like cards and stuff, this is a great paper to use. It's quite expensive in my opinion. This was a, uh, let's see, five by seven inch. 
size for uh, how many pieces did I get in here? I think 25 and I paid $10. That's a lot of money, in my opinion, for this paper, but I am going to be using the alcohol inks to come up with some great cards that will also pair with Cricut. And so you can use these for the cards as maybe the card fronts, or I could probably cut these also and use just pieces of it, okay? Um, so there, there you go. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention as we're waiting for this to cut is, um, there, we're going to be doing fairy lights coming up. I was able to, with the help of Loretta, one of our regular watchers, buy these fairy lights. They're called solar mason jar lid string light lantern decorations, warm white. They came... I think eight in a box for about 10 or $15. And if you get them, if you want them to work on Saturday night, you have to um, turn them on. And you'll notice in the back, they have a, if I can open it, they do have a battery. The battery is solar powered. So what you have to do to get them to work is there's like a little uh, tag in here. You have to pull it out. Um, and there is the solar powered battery and then you would put the cap on turn it to on and then you can leave it in the sun it doesn't need a whole lot of sun but you see here all the little solar things and once it starts lighting up or once the sun has given it enough um, you would take these little uh, strands and you see these are all the little twinkle lights fairy lights they call them that you're going to put inside of a mason jar so you don't get the jar with this you just get the cover but it I think it's well worth it I got eight for like less than 15 bucks I did also buy mason jars two different sizes because mine always um, mine always get lost the only problem is that the ball version, this is the ball mason, um, which I use for, for canning. Please stop. I use for canning. Canning is is has got this on here. So we were going to put some uh some some cutesy little vinyl. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way how to use that on this one. The care cur K-E-R-R -R -R ones have a blank side. Or you can also find ones that are strictly for crafting um, and that are very blank. I do have some of those as well. So when you're buying your mason jars, make sure you look for ones that have at least one side is uh is able to take vinyl without you know, without having this raised, like, embossed area, okay? Okay, so our, our, um, our iron-on is done on the joy, so I'm going to move the joy over a little bit, and we can move this over, and here it is. Now, glitter iron-on is pretty thick, um, so because it's so thick, I ended up using tape to tape it onto my mat because sometimes those mats are just not sticky enough. And what I would recommend, actually, I like working with iron-on because um, it is easy to weed versus vinyl. Sometimes, you know, you get, it gets a little bit hairy with all of the vinyl sticky, sticking on your fingers and all of that stuff. <laughs> So, but the hard thing is that you, you cannot see, you have to really hold it up to the light before you can see, or you could try, um, just start to weed it. So what you weed is you just take this little edge right here and you start pulling this bit. Off. And it's got a real like um, fabric-y sort of uh, almost like a it's a little like plasticky fabric. I don't know how to explain it, but it's got a really nice, interesting um, 
feel to it when you start pulling it off. And this is what I mean about iron-on. It, it does weed really well without having to do a lot of making sure that the little pieces are staying um, on, like the pieces inside of a looped letter or apostrophes or anything like that. They kind of tend to stay on better than if you were to do uh, vinyl. So, hey, why not, right? So I'm going to have to use my weeding tool for the inside of the K and the S and then in between here the R has a little hole there. So that's what I would do is just weed it like this. See, I'm just taking out, I'll try to do it closer, but I'm just taking out the inside part here, you see, and put it aside and throw it away or save it. I don't know. Maybe you might save it. So, um, so you know, it's hard to do it holding it up. But just so you know, that's this is how you would do it. You would just weed and make sure you got it all weeded before you go to do your iron on. And here we go. All right. So, nope, not quite ready. So, it's kiss me. I gotta do between the K and the E. Here we go. All right, so you see what I did there is I peeled off the extra. Now I can cut this really well. I cut this down just simply because I don't like to be working with all this extra plastic stuff. But it is a, a sort of a, uh, let me just, Hold on. It is a um, what's a th what's the word? It's a it's a it's a protective surface when you're going to use the iron on. I still have to get that R in there. Okay. So here's Kiss Me I'm Irish in green, and I'm gonna turn on my my um, easy press. This is the mini. I'm putting it on three. Now, um, how did I come up with three? Well, I did go and use the heat guide. I'm going to show you what the heat guide is so that you know. Um, so just open up a browser and type in Cricut heat guide. Okay. So here you choose which mug you want. I'm sorry, which mug, which easy press you want. And so I chose the mini because I wanted to use my mini and I chose um, glitter. And then the base material, I got to the place where I didn't know what to choose. I thought I would choose the coaster, but unfortunately, um, the coaster is not on here because it won't work with glitter. So what I did choose is wood. I was thinking maybe that would work. And so I started off using it at a medium setting for 40 seconds, but it took a really long time. So then I went back and sort of tried to come up with a better, um, a better solution. And I realized what I needed to do was take a little leap of faith and I put it on high and I did it for about 40 seconds. So I changed the, but I always check that heat guide because it's really important um, to know what the maximum is, okay? So here I'm gonna show you the these little hexagons and I can show you these ones. I'm Irish. I cut a whole bunch out already in gold. So we can also weed these. Clearly, you do not need to just use uh, shamrocks or Irish things at all, but because it's uh, it's St. Patrick's Day, I um, wanted to do something with, with shamrocks. So you could do this for anything, of course. Okay, so here we go. So I have my Kiss Me, I'm Irish. I'm going to position it where I want it on my little um, my little tile. Um, if you want to, you could, you could, uh, you could tape it, but to be honest, it has enough stick 
on that that I think that this works fine. And then I'm going to take my my mini and I I really took my time with this and um and went and did it for and in fact kind of left it for 10 seconds and then moved it and left it for 10 more seconds like this um and uh, I'm not somebody who's very very patient with things like time but um but I I had to test my patience on that because I really wanted it to stick. Now the one thing that you need to understand about this is that it gets really hot. Uh, uh this thing gets super hot. Sort of like if you uh using mugs in your mug press, it gets really hot. So you need to mind your fingers on this. Um and this little mini as they say is mighty but mini or mini but mighty, right? Mini but mighty. So um I did allow it a lot of time and in fact I kind of worked a couple at a time here so that I could keep coming back to it. So here's my little, my small shamrock. I kind of like the way it's here. Now, what are you going to use these for? The decorations. Um, I, I always have, you know, when I worked in an office, um, I always had little, I call them tchotchkes, but um, I know that people, you know, doodads or bric-a-brac or um, I don't know what you guys call them, but, but, you know, just little things on my desk to make me smile, things that people bring back from their trips. I know um, people would bring me back all kinds of stuff when I worked in the office and I just loved it. Um, and so, and it just reminds me of them or of a time that I went, you know, like a seashell or something like that, and a little decorative piece here and there. And you don't have these ginormous things hanging around uh, in your house or on your desk or something. So here is me um, going ahead and heating up a couple of these just so that I can uh, give it enough time to heat it up. Oh, yeah, a tiered tray would be nice. Something's under here. Okay, a tiered tray is nice, too. Um, and you know what? Just something to, <laughs> something to cover in vinyl, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just like a little uh, or windowsill. This would be cute on a windowsill and maybe with a little tripod or something uh, or whatever, you know, like a little um, stand, you can buy those little stands all the time, um, like a dish, you know, like you would get. I put in my uh, china cupboard where I want to take my, uh, oops, I want to take and put my um, my dishes so that they're facing out and people can see them. I can already see that this is starting to, Teddy, I can already see that this is starting to be, um, be on yeah. there, be stuck on there. Teddy bear, stop. Um, so I'm going to just kind of test it. But you see here, that M is still like lifted. So I'm going to put this transfer sheet back and just give it a little more time so that, um, you know, you might have a little piece here or there that, especially with these script letters that are going to lift. So let's do, what what? And it's hot. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. Of course it's hot. Sorry, guys. Whoops. Thank goodness I have this heating pad here. All right. Let's see. And again, very, very hot. Try not to touch it until it cools down. But you can use things like my little weeding tool. I might have to come back and do these here a little bit. Yeah, let me just do this right here. Just give it a little blast. I just keep coming back and doing these ones. Haven't even tried them. Okay. And um, it probably will peel better if when it's cool. So, um, so if you have patience or you want to just go and get yourself a cold drink or something, um, and allow it to cool, it will probably, when you come back, why does this keep sticking to my, it, when it comes back, it will probably, 
um, be on there just fine. So sometimes you'll notice like at first it might pick up a little and then when it cools down, it actually stays put. I notice that sometimes with t-shirts. Okay, so be patient. And then you can peel off that. I can't pick it up, it's too hot. But isn't it adorable? This one here, not quite on there on this little part. And there you go. While I'm here, I might as well um, do this one because I haven't put this on yet. This is a larger one. And I like the shamrock because it has a little shamrock on the middle. I did this in not glitter. It's a, a gold. It's not foil, though. It's gold everyday iron-on. So here we go. So we can probably get to do that one as well. Let's see. Ah. Man. So be patient with the process. Be patient with yourself. If you have little pieces that are, you know, coming up, um, it just takes a little bit of time. The mini uh, is is a lot like that, where you have to really just kind of iron it on, whereas the easy press is more of a pressing type of thing. Yeah, there we go. This one little part, though does not want to stay. Okay. So it is hot. Allow it to cool. I'm afraid to pick it up, <laughs> but here you go. Um, it's hot in my hand, but isn't that a cute little thing? And um, just, you know, like maybe something to put on your desk or your windowsill or whatever um, to celebrate the holiday. still hot. I'm burning my hands. All right. So let's try this one again. Um, I was unable to find the proper, um, the proper setting for this. And so I just used the three lines and, um, worked it like this. Now, because this is not glitter, um, I ended up with a little bit of, on my original one, I ended up with a little bit of this sort of wrinkling, which that might just be um, the way that I weeded this. So um, be aware of that. I'm pretty sure that, by the way, if you wanted to put something hot on here, you would have to make sure it's not, like, terribly hot. Like, you wouldn't be able to take your Dutch oven out of the <coughs> oven that was on 500 degrees, and it becomes a heat trivet because I think it would melt. Okay, you guys, please stop. Um, but be aware of that. Um, and then obviously if you find bigger or smaller or whatever different sizes, try them out, try them out. It couldn't hurt. And what have you got to lose? Not much. This is how creativity works. Um, it is all trial and error. And sometimes there's a lot of error, but in this case, I thought these are really fun and I'm using up things that I've just had laying around. So, um, I'm happy with that. So there you go. I want to get up real close. So you can see, so it's on there really good. Could I peel it off? Probably. Um, like I could probably use my finger and try to peel it off, but it's on there pretty good. Um, and it's just so cute and you can give it to somebody or, the office at the office or something. I don't know. Just something fun to make. Okay. And um, that is it, folks. That is uh, using iron-on, glitter iron-on in, in particular to um, put on tiles. So next time you're in Home Depot or you're just looking for something in the hardware store, start looking at things and, and thinking, hmm, I wonder if 
this would look good with vinyl on it. And most everything can be improved with a little bit of a vinyl or iron on. So, um, so if you have a few extra bucks, just buy those, those little sheets of tiles and try it out. Pretty easy, right? All right, so I think that's going to do it for the day. I'm still working on getting this onto my tile. Um, and tomorrow, tomorrow is Thursday. Let's see, Friday is 3D Friday, and I'm going to be showing you the uh, Lori Whitlock Milk Carden houses that she has on her site. I'll drop a link on my page. Um, and what was I going to do tomorrow? I don't know. I had something else. I've been seeing all of the posts that you guys are making where you're um, posting in my groups. Um, so thank you for posting what you're creating. It's so lovely to see your, your creations. Um, remember that you can join any of my, um, Facebook groups. There's, uh, the cricket chat with Miss Rita group that used to be called um, Miss Rita to the Rescue Community Group. So there's a uh, cricket chat with Miss Rita, and there's also Just Cricket Joy with Miss Rita. We also have some really large groups called Cricket Newbies and Pros, ones for business and ones for the maker and the explore. Um, and then if you have an older machine, we also have a um, a group just for you. And then remember, you've got YouTube, you've got um, Patreon. I'm still trying to get my website to have all of this, but it's like I run out of time in the day, you know. Um, I'm always constantly working on a new project, a new project. I hope you guys like that. Um, and I really just kind of move from one thing to the other uh, pretty fast, so... Um, I hope that that's okay because the reason my thought process there is that sometimes these projects, you know, you come across a project and you're like, I'm not really into paper, um, or I'm not really into iron on, or I'm not really into whatever. And so that project is not for you. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. So that's why I kind of move from one project to another fairly quickly and, um, and, uh, you know, just so that people would have something to look forward to. There we go. All right. That's it. Uh, I haven't been watching the feed, so I don't know what's going on. I hope everybody is okay. Um, and you will see me tomorrow. Oh, I know what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to be working on that sublimation printer, Okay. Yes, there is a group for older machines. It's called Cricket for Personal Expression. I will list them all um, on my on my Facebook page because there are a lot of groups. Now, the biggest one is called Cricket Newbies and Pros, and um, that I started back in 2013, and it has like, I don't know, 300,000 people in it. Um, so, you know, if you're not one that likes big, big groups, you feel uncomfortable or whatever, probably that's not the group for you. But there are also um, the, the cricket, I'm sorry, the cricket chat with Miss Rita is probably the group that I'm most active in these days. And, um, and I'm always popping in there and seeing, and I would love it if you could join me there. Um, that would be great. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Sublimation printer tomorrow, okay? And um, and then we'll have some fun with sublimation. Um, and Friday is 3D Friday. We're doing Laurie Whitlock her little Easter um, milk carton houses. And Saturday night, we're back with date night and we are doing fairy lights using those fairy lights I showed you earlier, alcohol inks and mason jars, okay? So we'll see you um, and have a great day. I hope you get some crafting in today. Take care.